What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we're talking about the new third Splash Brother, hence the number three on his jersey, Jordan Poole. And I'm not being like this little corny guy like when DeMarcus Cousins joined the Warriors and everyone was like, he's the new third Splash Brother and he was like saying it himself. No, I'm dead serious when I say this. It's not another Nico Mannion situation either. I truly, truly think Jordan Poole is the next Splash Brother. Like I know... That's only a really a thing on the Warriors. It's because they have Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. But I really, really think Jordan Poole will slip his way into there. I don't think he'll ever be officially a Splash Brother. But he's he really will be another Splash Brother in my opinion. So when you look at Jordan Poole, he was getting bus talks last season. He really was. And then he started to step it up towards the end of this last season. And then it was like, okay, he's picking up pace. And then this season going into it, I, I, my prediction was he was going to be the most improved player. I truly, truly thought that. And he's, he's done even better than I have even would have expected. So he dropped 20 ish points in his first game. Um, just dropped 20 tonight. I waited for tonight's game to be over against the, I forget who it was, was it the Pelicans? I think it was the Pelicans, uh, dropped 20 against, no, no, it wasn't the Pelicans. I got that mixed up because. I was thinking the Lakers played the Grizzlies and the Grizzlies have Steven Adams. So, that, so that's how I got confused. But he dropped 20 again tonight. And then he had one game where he dropped nine. So he said three games. He's averaging around ooh, 17 points a game right now. And that's pretty good um, for a third year player. I believe he's in his third year now. His rookie year, he was in the G League a lot. Second year, he started getting some bus talks. And it's like, why is he not panning out? And then this year, he's going to win most improved player, in my opinion. He, he, he should. And I think he's going to average around 16 points a game. He's going to have a very good season. And he's probably going to make the All-Star team next year or the year after. I really think that he will be an All-Star in this league in the future i think he's around maybe 23 so he still has like a couple years before his absolute prime uh if he's on tra tra trajectory like most players are where it's like 27 28 uh the 26 to 28 range is kind of the prime prime years of a basketball player and i really 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 think he's gonna be better than clay thompson when clay thompson comes back um, probably around January. I, I see people saying Christmas, but I don't know if he'll come back in 2021. I think it'll be 2022. And when he does come back, I think Jordan Poole will show that he is just the better player than Klay Thompson at this point in their careers. Klay Thompson's going to still probably shoot threes. And I'm starting to think that maybe he will be better than I'm expecting him to be, which I'm really expecting him to not be very mobile at all. But I'm, now I'm starting to second guess myself and maybe I'm like, okay, maybe he'll actually be decent. I don't think he'll ever be an all-star again. And I don't know if that's that bold of a take to make, but I really think Jordan Poole is just going to be better than him. And if they want to run all three of them in the starting lineup, that doesn't really work because then they have Andrew Wiggins at the, the small forward and then their power forwards. Draymond center is going to be either like Bielitsa or Looney or... Um, James Wiseman. It's going to be one of those three, probably. And right now, I'd give the edge to Bielitsa because James Wiseman's hurt, and Kevon Looney just really isn't that good, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of him. And Bielitsa has had a very for good start to the season, very good first couple games with them, uh, starting to look like a very good signing that the Warriors made. But if we look into what Jordan Poole's good at in comparison, I do see some Zach Levine in his game, not athleticism wise. Like he's really good at making threes, very good at scoring the ball, kind of like a Jason Tatum, uh, shorter Jason Tatum with, like I said, like not as much drive to the rim as those guys. But I like a comparison, like a Jason Tatum, Zach Levine, when they're around the wing. I think that he's like that. He's very good at finding his own shot, very good at knocking down threes. He's just a very, very good player. And I think he is better defensively than like a Zach Levine even, because I know Zach Levine's known for not being that great of a defender. I think Zach Levine will take a step up this year. This is not related really, but I think Zach Levine's going to take a step up this year with this fast 
tempoed team that they got going on and they're going to be winning more so i think he'll have more motivation but that's not really the point uh, i just think that jordan pool is going to show some people that he really really is what he is like this warriors team is going to be so much better than i expected them to be and it's because of jordan pool it's strictly because of jordan pool this team is not very different from the warriors team last year they added bielitsa they added auto porter jr and then they got their two rookies and i'm probably forgetting someone Oh, they brought back Andre Iguodala. And other than that, they're basically the same team. They lost, um, they lost, what's his name? Kelly Oubre Jr. and Kent Bazemore. But other than that, they didn't really lose a lot. So I think that this team is going to be better on paper. They're definitely better because they got Moses Moody and uh, Jonathan Kaminga. Uh, and then, like I said, Jordan Poole's making a huge jump. He's going to jump from like, oh, what did he average last year? Like 8 to 12 points. He's going to jump from that to like 16, 17 points a game, in my opinion. Be the second best player on the Warriors throughout the whole season, even when Klay Thompson comes back, even when Draymond Green is at his best. I just think that Jordan Poole is just the second best player on the Warriors at this point in the Warriors franchise uh, timeline. I I think that they're set up very, very well with Jordan Poole, and I'm glad they didn't trade him for like a somebody uh in this offseason because yeah they could have been helped them now potentially but i think jordan pool will help them in the future which i know they're not really thinking about the future as much because they have their big three of older guys but jordan pool i think will be able to help them pretty relatively soon and it all depends on clay's health now clay's health and if draymond can stay as young as possible basically because draymond isn't aging the best in my opinion uh, especially scoring wise he's lost so much scoring as he's gotten older so if that can all stay together i think this is going to be a very very exciting team that could possibly go to the conference finals and i don't think that they would beat the lakers to go to the finals if that's who they matched up against but you never know something crazy could happen so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about jordan Poole. how good do you think he is how good do you think he will be and do you think that he is like the third splash brother now next to stephen curry and clay thompson if you do, or if you don't, leave a like, subscribe, turn notification bells to all, drop a comment down below, guys. It helps out the algorithm a lot. And also, I reply to all the comments. So if you have anything to ask, just drop it down below. And I will see you guys all later in the next upload. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out, my friends. Bye.